Hello beautiful people, welcome to another Galactic Mayan Astrology Report. So before we begin I want to tell you something really exciting. So the other day, you know that I'm like birthing this alternative community for young people in Manchester and generally in the north of England. Well, yeah, I'm doing a talk about that on the first day of this wave spell, so on the 1st of March. So if you're not actually with us, witnessing the talk, send me the vibes so that I can really translate the vision. Democratic creative arts and well-being for young people so that parents and educators and stuff can really feel the vibe and say, yo, I want to send the children that I'm responsible for in your direction. Because we are here to breed free humans. And that's what the core of it all is. But yeah, the other day I was tuning in and I was like, hmm, okay, so setting up this organization takes a lot of energy. And I've got loads of cosmic things that I can share. And yeah, it went, digga, 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 digga. oh, I can create an online community. So we've done little tasters of it over the years, but the thing that's come through really strong is for me to set up a Patreon, which I have done, so the link's below. So you can support me to birth this vision with children, but also you will get every single wave spell, an online ceremony that we do through Zoom. So you know me, you know what I'm about full power, multi-dimensional meditation activation, some kind of ceremonial initiation and tuning into the archetype that we're going to be journeying with for that coming 13 days. And then also a private Facebook group so that we can connect with each other and really kind of journey the waves together and share our conscious evolution notes. And also through that portal, you know, whenever the, the vibe comes, I'll be jumping on lives and sharing bits of cosmic wisdom and things about the calendar, including every moon. I'm going to do like a, an activation meditation through live in that Facebook group too. So yeah, joining the community will be joining the community of Cosmic Fam um, all over the world because the people that tune into this are all over the world. But it'll also then be supporting me to, to birth esteemed creatives. So this really, it's my life's work, you know, as a human this time. All the cosmic stuff beamed in with it from all the different lifetimes of operating as a teacher of the mystical arts. But this particular lifetime is very much about bringing this stuff through for the children. And it's not that I'm going to be transmitting any of this. It's that I'm going to be creating a space where they're not being manipulated or forced. It's all about consent essentially creativity and consent so amazing environment awesome humans surrounding and a, a space where the human can grow to know themselves through having opportunity to to step forward in in the ways that feel good to them so yeah link below just felt to say it at the start so first of march 2023 New wave spell, ding ding. We're moving into the wave spell of blue hand. And it's no coincidence that I'm gonna be doing my talk on the first day of the wave spell because it really links into this archetype. Wondering how the previous 13 days were for you. We've been, uh, yeah, we've journeyed the code of what the 13 years on the planet is. So again, it's this microcosm, macrocosm vibration, as is the whole of reality. 2019, the world collectively went into the 13 years of White Wizard. We're just completing the micro 13 day process of White Wizard. So everything that you've kind of experienced within the previous 13 days is the content of your peace of the collective evolution 13 years of the wizard that we're in but i spoke more into that last time so if you like what are you on about watch the previous video so we now move into the blue hand archetype the blue hand archetype is a beautiful archetype they're all beautiful <clears throat> but there's, <laughs> there's actually something around beauty when it comes to the blue hand so the blue hand is a blue sign the blue signs are all about transformation so during this 13 day process we have the opportunity to go through a complete transformation 
within this particular aspect of self. And the hand is all about giving and receiving. It's about how we relate, how we connect to one another and how we can exist in that like beautiful expression. So it's really linked to the Dia archetype is the blue hand. So <clears throat> what does all that mean? So we're here in this human form and a big piece of the human evolution of the moment is about the emotional evolution. So in order to liberate, in order to, oh, hello, son. <laughs> in order to connect, in order to evolve, we have to be evolving our emotions. Now we're coming out of a period on the planet where we've been very dissociated, we've been conditioned to be dissociated. We haven't had the tools or the capacity to be able to process feeling and sensation. And what that has created is this massive backlog. So then when we actually come into relationship with one another and that emotional reality is bubbling within us, there's a lot of stuff in the way of us actually connecting with each other. And, you know, when it comes to manifestation, when it comes to aligning with the timeline that we really want to be aligning with, it's about the, the transformation of emotion more than anything else. And the transformation of emotion on one level is incredibly simple. <clears throat> just got to fucking feel it. But the reality of just fucking feeling your feelings is much more challenging than <clears throat> anything else really because it's it's painful you know to feel the sensation of pain in any of our bodies is not nice and we've created an entire hello my friend <laughs> hi <laughs> oh you got the cutest crow oh my gosh yes expression emotional expression honest expression so when we've not had the opportunity to process these feelings, <clears throat> to sit with the feelings, because we're like, yeah, we've built this, this world that's like, oh, you're starting to get something that you don't like. Take this, look at this thing, go and do that thing. It's like, bam, 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 bam. All this distraction opportunity. And when we haven't processed the emotion, then we're taking that emotion and we're projecting that emotion. Even if it's simply a, a projection of perspective, we see a certain in a, a, a certain way because of our unprocessed emotions, but often it's projected in uh, like, bam, this is your fault, or blah, 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 blah. crow, crow, crow. <laughs> so how do we go through a process of being able to transmute our emotions, drop into neutrality, and then communicate from a space of neutrality? That's really what this this blue hand teaches us. It's like how do we, what do we personal need, personally need to be able to feel our feelings? Like how, and really it's about just being able to be present and to sit in the space. And as I say, then what happens is, is this like transmutation process that becomes this beautiful thing. And, you know, often the blue hand energy is really, it's like that, that emotional transformation then produces something really beautiful. So when it comes to, again, this idea of processing, okay, yeah, on one level, we sit with the feeling and we allow the feeling to be felt. We allow the sensation in the body to be felt and we stop reacting to the sensation. We just witness it as a, okay. So we acknowledge, we witness. But then sometimes, you know, the desire can be to connect with the person or whatever. But often that's still coming from a bit of a squishy place. So within this archetype, what we get to, what we're invited to do is, okay, like how can I, how can I express, but in a way that is creative and beautiful as opposed to destructive and harmful or manipulative with agenda. So, <clears throat> Creating space for creativity is really important during this wave spell. As is feeling our feelings. 
resourcing ourselves to be able to feel our feelings and the biggest piece within that really you know what it all boils, boils down to no matter how cosmic we get with everything and no matter how multifaceted this reality is and no matter how many incarnations we kind of believe we've existed within we're here in this life and the root of the suffering in this life are the codes are the experiences that we had when we were young whether that was collective or personal so that's where the work is how can we sit with what happened then and how can we parent the part of us that experienced that and that's really what the emotional evolution process is about sitting with the sensations without dissociation whilst also comforting the aspects of ourselves that went through what we went through and then once that is up and running then the way that we relate with one another is different also within this as i say is this giving and receiving vibration flavor and often you know it's it's a struggle to give and receive in a balanced way you know in certain moments maybe we overgive because we're feeling insecure or unsafe at other moments maybe we're so wrapped into ourselves that we don't recognize how much we are taking so we're all constantly bouncing through these perspectives through these experiences and there's that squiffy thing of you know the victim energy of being like or the savior within the victim triangle the drama triangle well i just overgave and it's like yeah but what's underneath that is a need to receive the give is not clear it's not squeaky it's to get the validation so we've really you know it takes a lot for us to sit and really see ourselves don't it it's like oh i don't want to see the parts where i'm a dickhead i want to see the parts where i've been hurt or <laughs> i'm the wounded one <laughs> but not the ones where i've been a twat but in order to come to the place where we are balancing this giving and receiving we have to see all of it and you know we're not perfect we're not going to be perfect and the aim of the game is not perfection it's the feeling of the imperfection how does it feel to be imperfect how does it feel to be a bit of a dickhead sometimes <laughs> how does it feel to be part of a human race and we're making a mess whilst also we're evolving how does it feel to go and buy plastic how does it feel to not be asked to recycling at certain times how does it feel to judge the people that you feel are less evolved than you and forget that they're actually a mirror all these pieces all these pieces and yeah so when we're journeying with this archetype you know it's a it's about love like how does all this translate into relationships you know how does what i experienced when i was young block me from having loving relationship here and now in the present and like i say on one level it's really simple we just have to sit with the feelings but on other levels it's like but all of my synapses have been programmed to not do this <laughs> so just literally sit here or this is why eft is mint because it creates that space of stopping whilst also and, and allowing things to move whilst also engaging the mind and the body through the movement and the wording and you know i think a lot of the the adhd echoes and the other neurodiversity echoes are kind of reactions to this same thing of like you know whatever the whatever the pain is get away from the pain in whatever coping mechanism has been created strongly within the being to to make that happen So yeah, for the next 13 days, we are looking at balanced relating. We are looking at emotions. How comfortable am I with my emotions? The aim of the game, the goal is never, and the, the result is never going to be that we don't feel. It's not about not feeling. It's about what happens when we feel. How deeply do we react? How out of centre do we get? How much do we lose ourselves? How cruel can we be how depressed do we get how all these different things it's like what's the reaction to the emotion 
the emotions are always going to be there the feelings are always going to come it's beautiful it's part of this experience down here and it's fucking sick but the gateway of freedom is moving away from the reaction to the emotion feeling it feeling it feeling it feeling it allowing it to pass And if there needs to be an expression, sometimes we do need to have conversations with people, but until we reach neutrality, it's not the time for the conversation. And sometimes a beautiful way of reaching that neutral point, that neutral place, once the feelings have been felt or whilst the feelings are being felt is to create something, create something, get it onto paper, get it into a song, get it into an image, get it whatever, creativity means to you make a gather loads of sticks in the woods and make some kind of a pattern on the floor like whatever it is move your body dance like create with that charge create something beautiful with that charge the rain is coming so as I say I've created a Patreon. It's cosmic. Every 13 days, we're joining together online. I'm gonna be sharing loads of potency within the Facebook group, and it's also gonna be supporting me to birth. My life's work, esteemed creatives. So I'm linking that below. If you've not got your astrological diary yet, link below. If you haven't seen my Etsy stuff, or if you want some of my Etsy magic, of which there's a lot potent shit, link below. Join my mailing list for esteemed below. Buy my book, What to Do About School, which was the translation of the thesis and the research that I did all over the world about alternative education, link below. And join up to my cosmic mailing list, link below as well. I think that's all for now, darlings. Sending you so much love and so many blessings. I'm so grateful to be on planet Earth at this time with all of you. We got this. Oh, and I'm also doing a Reiki master training in the Flayish, in the north of England, late April, May and June, three weekends. It's going to be sick. Nearly all the places have gone now. But if you do feel it, hit me up. Super mystery school initiation, whilst also integrated with next level professional practitioner training. Yes. Cosmic Wisdoms, Initiations, Practitioner Training. Let's clean up the Reiki field, shall we? <laughs> All right, babes. Loads of love.